Like I would say the same thing. He'll just try to dodge and evade, look for the exit. Yeah. Well, we'll this is what they do. Okay. Do we have any atheists on stage who would like to explain why their atheism is reasonable? Hi, and uh, this is Steve and Darth. It's a pleasure to share the stage with you. Um, the reason why I think my atheism is reasonable, and you, you mentioned earlier about atheists, or at least the one you kicked off stage being evasive, uh, I believe uh, as, I, I simply believe that it is possible that God does not exist. Not definitive or dispositive, but it is possible that God does not exist. Uh, that, do you, that's, that, do you that's agree with that? That's a category error. That's a category okay. error. Okay, so you do not believe it's possible that God does no, not exist. No, Because no, I believe no, that anything is possible. Please don't put, please, please don't. Okay, well, that's insane. Okay. If, if, if anything is possible, anything at all, then that, means that you don't have the ability to object to anything. Do you realize that? Wouldn't it be uh, possible no. that he has, to, if anything is possible, wouldn't he have the possibility? Okay, Steve, 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 if anything is possible, that means nothing is impossible. Therefore, you will not have metaphysical or worldview grounds to object to any proposition. <laughs> Do you understand the problem? I understand the problem of your reasoning. Yes. No, no, that's not what I asked you. That that was a, that that that's a that's a sleazy response. Oh, you well, understand ask the me. problem. Yeah, it's a that's a sleazy pro, that's a sleazy answer that people give. They'll say, "Well, I understand that's what you believe." I said, "Do you understand the problem? It's either yes I do or no I don't." Yes, I do, Darth. Okay. How can you object to any propositional claims if everything is possible? Well, I don't believe pigs can fly. So when I said earlier that anything is possible, I, I guess you're right there and you are correct. Pigs, I don't believe, will ever be able to fly. So that's not possible. Okay. Do you have a rationale that there is no supreme being creator God? Yes, my rationale is that except for pigs flying, anything is possible. Therefore, it's possible that God well, why are you why are why are you repeating something that was already debunked and you didn't offer a formal rebuttal? I thought I did, but I guess I'm wrong. No, no. To say anything is possible at all is fundamentally incoherent. Which is because why they're, they're, I gave. Right, so do you understand that it's not coherent to assert that anything is possible? Because then you lose your ability to speak meaningfully and intelligibly. Because if you make positive assertions, it is simultaneously an, a, a denial of its negation. Do you understand that a positive assertion is a denial of its negation? I understand that when I said anything was possible, and then you pointed out the response, I agreed with you, and I used the example that pigs will never fly. Why yes. are you Why are you repeating again that anything because you is asked possible? me you asked you asked me the same question twice, so I answered your question. Okay, do you still believe that it is uh, reasonable to say anything at all is possible? Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't. And I use the example okay. that pigs won't fly. Uh, I do okay. not. Now, do you have do you have a defense for the not God world? Yes, it's possible that God does not exist. That is that is not a again. You're yeah, it's a category error. Okay, what we're talking a possibility and impossibility will derive from either a God or a not God world and what is fundamental with respect to those worldviews. So either you, either you, either you believe in the God world or you believe in the not God world, which do you believe? The, I believe the not God world. Okay. The not God world is true because
Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going to finish. Were you asking? No, that me? was a, that was a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Not God's I'm sorry. world is true because because it's possible God does not exist. Okay, we've already covered this already. That's a category error. Okay. Okay. If I said I, to you, okay, Steve, let me explain it to you. If I say to you, it's possible there's a deer in my backyard. All right. Now, there may or may not be a deer in, in my backyard, okay? Because a deer is, a, is a, a, a contingent state, okay? When we're talking about God or not God, right, as a universal, those two positions are not contingent states. They're not a matter of possibility. Either one or the other is true. You told me that you hold to the truth of the not God world. Did you not affirm that? I did affirm that. Therefore, the God world cannot be with respect to your position. So again, the not God world is true because, and please do not repeat what you have said prior. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to think of a different answer then, but the not God world is true because God has not revealed himself to me like he did to you. That's an, okay, that's, that's a non sequitur. Okay. Well, you wanted, you wanted a different answer, so I gave it to you. Right, but I'm explaining to you that the answer is a non sequitur. It doesn't follow because you have an autobiographical state, statement that you are unconvinced that God does not exist. Well, that I was, oh, I'm is, sorry. may I finish, please? Okay. Yes, you that may. Is yes, you classically, may. thank you for your permission. That is what we call an appeal to ignorance. Okay. An appeal to ignorance is that a proposition is true because the negation of the proposition is unconvincing. Now, let me repeat that again so you understand. The appeal to ignorance fallacy is that a proposition, A, is true because you are merely unconvinced of not A. So do you understand definitionally what an appeal to ignorance is? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you understand that what you have said about God, that God does not exist because you are unpersuaded, is in fact an appeal to, to the ignorance fallacy? Well, that's an incorrect statement. I never said it was because I was unpersuaded. I, the second time, and you don't, you don't want me to repeat the first time, which is fine, because the second time I said, God has not revealed himself to me like he did to you. That's what okay. I said exactly. Okay, so what you're saying then is all the facts that you are acquainted with are not indicative and revelatory of God. Is that your position? Yes, it is. And how did you determine that? Being alive for 62 years. That's not an, an informative answer. I'm sorry that it's not informative to you. Yeah. Can you give me an informative response? If that is not an informative response, I would have to say, unfortunately. No, no, no. Being, saying you're alive is not a justification. Okay. Your position is that all, is it your position that all facts do not stand in causal relations to God as the ultimate precondition. Can you rephrase that? I don't quite understand. That. Is it your position that all the facts that you're acquainted with do not stand in causal relations to God as their creator? Uh, when I when I weigh the majority of the facts, yes, that is my position. Okay, how did you determine that? I determine that by weighing all the facts that I know and giving them what I believe is their due credibility and then making a decision. That's a non-informative answer you've given me. Well, the second one today. Yeah. So can you give me an informative? How did you determine that any singular fact does not ultimately both chronologically and contemporarily, that any singular fact does not ultimately derive from God. How oh, no. Oh, no. I, di I, I did not. I, I never determined any singular. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. So you, here's you obviously... the problem then. So here's the problem then. Then what you were now saying then is what you were saying is all the facts that you are acquainted with are indeterminate, right? Yeah, I believe I said that a minute ago. Okay, yes. well, it doesn't, it, does, it doesn't follow from that that God doesn't exist. That's a non sequitur, Steve. Well, don't you agree that there are some facts that are indicative that God does not exist and what some I facts think, that do? What I think at this juncture is not relevant to you defending atheism. Now, telling me that facts are indeterminate, right? When you say, well, the, the, the facts... When you say the facts are indeterminate, it doesn't follow from that that they don't derive from God. So that answer that you gave is literally a non sequitur. It doesn't follow. Uh, with all due respect, I think your statement that what you think is not relevant is also... I. Uh, hey, can you not ignore wow. what I'm saying to you? Do you understand? No, I've listened to every what word. What you have said, please don't overtalk me. When you say all the facts that you are acquainted with are indeterminate, means you can't, you don't, you haven't decided where they ultimately come from. It doesn't follow from that that their ultimate origin is not God. That is a non sequitur, Steve. That's I. I don't want to repeat myself. Okay, that statement is a non sequitur. Okay. So, so do you do you have a rationale? that God is a supreme being and creator of all things that are, that are not himself does not exist. Do you have a rationale for that? Yes, I've already said it, but I don't want to repeat myself. No, what you have said prior are fallacies. I, I have systematically rebutted what you have said each and every time. And you have not offered counter rebuttals. Now, so unless you have something new, you do not have a rationale that atheism is true, that there is no God, do you? I would say no, Darth. I have nothing new. Okay. So you don't have a rationale that is not a fallacy that there is no God, do you? I only have what I've already said. What you have already said, I have rebutted as fallacies. Would you like to offer a counter rebuttal to my refutations? Nothing new. I'll tell you that. Nothing new. Do you want to offer a counter rebuttal? Nothing new. So the answer is no. Okay. So then you do not have a non fallacious defense for your not God world. All I have is what I've already said which are fallacies. Now, do you accept my analysis that what you have said are fallacies? No, I do not. Do you have a rebuttal to my analysis? Yes, because you distinctly Give me said... Give rebuttal. I, I, I will. You said, quote, what you think is not relevant. Are you going to give me a rebuttal with specifics to my refutation of what you said? Nothing new. Okay. Do you have a, re a, a counter rebuttal to my refutation that what you've said is a fallacy? I have nothing new to say. So, so you have no counter rebuttal, okay? You, you said you do not accept that what you have previously said is a fallacy. So you should have a counter rebuttal then, is that correct? Uh, I shouldn't and I don't, I have nothing new so, to so say. Then, so if you, don't, if you don't have a counter rebuttal, then are you then arbitrarily declaring that what you have said is not a fallacy? No, I am not. Okay, so then you should have a defense that what you have said is not a fallacy. Nothing new. Do you have a defense that what you have said is not a fallacy? Nothing new. Okay, repeating that same stupid response doesn't make you look good. 
But now, you you asking the same question care, six times listen, doesn't I, I don't want, make I don't you look good have, either. Well, I, I, it does make me look good because it proves the point that you have nothing else to say. You're speechless. Well, when I say I have nothing new, Darth, I will agree with you. I've got nothing else to say. You're right. So you don't have any rational grounds that the not God world is true, do you? Nothing new that I haven't already said. Do you have rational? Okay, but what you have said, I have rebutted. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> I'm not going to argue that. Did I? Did I offer a rebuttal to your claims? Yes, you. You rebutted every one do of my rebuttal. Do you have a refutation of my rebuttal? Do I have a what? Do you have a refutation of my rebuttal? Nothing new. So, so you're broken. You, you have you. So, so the answer is no. You don't have a rebuttal. Uh, correct. You're claiming you, you're claiming that what you're saying is not fallacious, right? Right. Good. Then I want you to re reiterate your defense and why it's not fallacious. Uh, yes, uh, because except for the example that I gave of pigs not being able to fly, I believe that pretty much anything is possible. Therefore, We've heard I, that, okay. You, you, I mean, I don't know what I mean. Are you high right now? When you believe that anything is possible, you lose your ability to speak intelligibly because all positive statements. Uh, do you agree or disagree that for any positive statement? that it is a denial of its negation. Oh man, it's too early in the morning to answer that. I'm terrible. It's really no, it's really simple. If I affirm A, the affirmation that A is true is a denial of not A. Not not A equals A. Uh, yes, and you, you I was going to say yes. You simplified it for me. Thank you. Yes, I agree right. with so, that. So, 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 if nothing is impossible, then there can't be any negative statements. Well, but except for the fact that pigs can't fly. I said you're, you're that. Not, you're not. You're not focusing. Right. Every positive statement is a denial of its negation. Do you accept that? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, a, 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 a positive statement or a positive proposition is simultaneously a negation. Right? Right. But, but nothing's impossible. So if nothing's well, except, impossible, except nothing, for pigs can nothing, fly and listen, some other, listen, other listen, examples. Listen, yes. you need to focus on what I'm saying instead of your script, okay? If nothing is impossible, then there can't be any negations. And if there can't be any negations, there can't be any positive statements. Because every positive statement is simultaneously a denial of its negation. So to say that anything is possible. Now, how did you determine, how did you come to believe rationally that anything at all, anything and everything is possible? How did you rationally determine that? I think with a few exceptions, anything is possible, don't you? I didn't. I, I asked you how you determined it. That last oh. response was oh, an, that's, was an, that's an, right. was an what invasion. You, what, you're right. What you think doesn't is not relevant. It doesn't matter Steve, what you think. Steve, Steve, you are a dishonest and an evasive person. Every time I have spoken with you, you have been evasive. Now, I will ask the question again. How did you determine... That anything and everything is possible. I never determined that. So when you assert that anything and everything is possible, is that an arbitrary declaration? I never asserted that. Okay, okay, now you're lying. Goodbye. All right, goodbye. All right, all right. We're gonna. He's he's removed. Okay. That, you see, correct. this is what happened. Th this is what happens with these people. They dodge. They evade. And they and they lie. Okay. And every single interaction that I've had with Steve Appel, every single one, he's deceptive, he's evasive, and he dodges. Okay? 
Yeah, Darth, you try to help him, Darth. I think that's because I was trying to follow him. Like, how could he not? Do you see? Do you yeah. see what a devious, deceitful, evasive person he is. He gave two rationales why God doesn't exist, and I systematically showed why they were both fallacious. Okay. Yeah, you're saying. It, but he, but he said he didn't. He didn't accept that it was fallacious. So he has a. Does he have a rebuttal? And he didn't have a rebuttal. I think. No, was he saying? Yeah. Was he saying the one of the reasons why he does not believe in God is because it's possible there's no God? Is that what he was saying? That was, that, was, that, well, like that was that was that was that was fallacy number one. Okay. Yeah, that's like saying it's, well, also, I, it's also a it's also a category error. Okay. Right, but that's also like saying, well, you know what? I don't believe Johnny was ever in the military because it's possible he wasn't in the military. Yeah, and <laughs> and the second thing he said is God doesn't exist because he's unpersuaded. Well, if you're going to say, I don't believe in God because it's possible that God isn't real, you would have to accept the inverse when someone says, well, I do believe in God because it's possible that God is real. I wonder if he would have accepted that. Does everybody see? And by the way, this guy, Steve Appel, holds a clubhouse room on a weekly basis called Ask an Atheist. And it's the same shtick over and over, over again. Yeah, so when he said there's when he said there's no evidence for God, he had to admit that he was not asserting that the facts he's acquainted with cannot and do not stand in causal relations to God. He then admitted that when he says there's no evidence for God, that he's saying, well, the facts are indeterminate. And I pointed out to him that this is a fallacy to say because the facts are indeterminate, therefore God does not indeed exist. It's an absolute fallacy. It's also an appeal to the ignorance fallacy. Yeah. Hey, that a proposition is true. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I went to his room four times, and I asked him a very simple question, which was, do you believe there's no God? And he says, I don't believe in any God. And it took him 30 minutes. He never answered my question. The second time I went, he finally admitted, I believe there's no God. And I asked him a very simple question. Ask him, do you is is your belief based upon evidence? And then he began to say yes. And then later on, he established that no, my belief there is no God is not based upon any evidence. And I said, do you agree that a belief without evidence is a faith? And he started uh, hem and haw. And anyway, long story short, after four encounters, he admitted, I have the faith there is no God. That's what he said. Yeah, well, faith is just a term that we use for trust or belief with or without warrant or justification. But Steve Appel is one of the more vocal people on Clubhouse, and he's also one of the in individuals, excuse me, who is deceptive, evasive, and, and lies, okay? Yeah, like Dark. I showed that his, his two rat reasons that God doesn't exist, I showed clearly that they were fallacies. And yet he said, oh, they're not fallacies. Good. Do you have a rebuttal? No, he didn't have a rebuttal. So if you don't have a rebuttal, how, how is it not a fallacy? Um, Darth, Welcome to the room, Chrissy. Okay.